In this section, we will be using the post verb. We will cover posting data through Drupal Core and posting data through a custom REST service. In this video, we will look at the HAL JSON format, how we need to format our post data, and the items Drupal creates. The content resource is already configured to allow the post verb. The format options specify how Drupal will serialize its response, not how we are allowed to format our post data. We had updated those in a previous video. The resource was also configured to use the HTTP basic authentication authorization provider. We had set the permissions to allow anonymous visitors to view published data, so the authentication method didn't really matter for the get verb. We will be using the basic authentication authorization now that we are going to be posting data. As an additional security measure, we are going to create a role of privileged REST user so that we can grant permissions to it instead of having to grant permissions to one of the other authenticated user roles. Now let's assign the necessary permissions. A post operation is intended to create a piece of content. Having access to the post verb does not grant access to actually create a piece of content. We will grant the permission to create new water eco action pieces of content. Finally, we need to create a user that has the role. For the sake of simplicity, we are going to create a user named rest underscore user and assign the password rest underscore user. Please do not do this on a live site. In order to post data via Drupal Core, there is a particular bit of information we need to know. We will figure out this information by issuing a GET request on a water eco action item piece of content using the HAL JSON response format. Drupal Core requires the underscore links key and the type nested key. It also wants our data to be formatted a particular way. For example, look at the title data. Look at the sample client code for more information. Let's see what water eco action items we have on our site right now. Now let's run our client and see what happens. It displays the information we sent and you can see how the data has been formatted. It also displays the data we receive from Drupal's response. Everything looks good from the client side of things. Let's see how it looks in our administrative back end. Indeed, Drupal has created a water eco action piece of content. Take note that it is assigned to the rest underscore user account and that it is published. We could have passed other data to let Drupal know which account to assign and whether to set the piece of content to be published. However, maybe we don't want clients to be able to specify that or other information. We may want to maintain control over that ourselves. 